Hey, good morning to you. Happy Sunday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Now, we have a chance for another potential tornado outbreak for today, as well as flooding for today, tomorrow, more to come, guys. Plus, major snowfall coming to the upper Midwest. If you've never been here before, hello, my name is Mark. I do upload all year long. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you know when my videos do come out. I know y'all told you it was just going to get a tornado or two yesterday, but I hope you heeded my warnings. I told you it was going to be a lot of tornadoes, and there was. Iowa was a lot of power outages yesterday when you had those storms, and now the storms went all night long, and it's affecting Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana. Everybody's got 10 to 20,000 people without power. And it is getting better. The storms are starting to pass by. It's all the damage and winds. And yesterday, just like I showed you right here around southern Iowa going towards Missouri, that we was going to get a lot of tornadoes, guys. And we had 42 tornadoes, not one or two. And you got a big chance for tornadoes for today as well. Now for today, your severe weather has a marginal up here in the northeast, as well as all this green going through the Tennessee, Kentucky Valley, the yellow for the slight risk, and you have an enhanced risk right here in this orange brown and it is for tornadoes you have a two percent chance in all this green a five percent chance in all this brown and a ten percent chance in this yellow for tornadoes for today and here's your cities and states that's going to be in the severe weather chance for tornadoes for today the biggest threat is jonesboro arkansas conway arkansas russellville arkansas paragold arkansas and searcy arkansas now for tomorrow, these storms are going to move further east and you have a chance for severe weather in all this green marginal and a slight risk in this yellow and you do have a chance for tornadoes tomorrow as well. You have a big 2% area in all of this green. Worst chance for today. And here's your cities and states for your chances for tornadoes for tomorrow. Nashville, Tennessee, Louisville, Kentucky, Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, Birmingham, Alabama, and Knoxville, Tennessee. Also, flash flooding. Today, going into tomorrow, you have a big marginal area for flash flooding and a big slight risk. This is for today. And as you go into tomorrow, it's going to move further east and north. And you have a big marginal for flash flooding and all this green for tomorrow and a big slight risk. Then as you go to day three, when you go from Tuesday into Wednesday, you're going to start getting a marginal for flash flooding in this green down here. Now, when you look at higher resolution rapid refresh, you can see these storms starting to brew up. And right around 10 o'clock, you're going to get these cells passing from Arkansas through Kentucky. And it's going to train that way for a few hours. And that is your chance for your tornadoes for today, all the way until this afternoon. Then we got this big bulge of storms. Can't see that far with HRRR. I'll show you the NAM. And this is going across Ohio Valley, bringing you potential one to two inches of rainfall, maybe some possible flash flooding now as these storms train through you can see that your cape your lift does gain very strong right around 10 11 o'clock especially for arkansas western tennessee western kentucky and it does grow throughout the day especially for arkansas a very strong area for cape some lift some very good chances for tornadoes guys all the way to 3 p.m all the way to this afternoon around 7 or 8 o'clock once you hit 8 o'clock then it goes down from 1100 down to a thousand over here in the southwest but you don't have a lot of precipitation in that area so really it's all the way till seven or eight o'clock for your chances for tornadoes for today now your strongest point for tornadoes is right around three to five p.m for today that's where you're gonna get a lot of convective activity chances for tornadoes matter of fact you get an eight out of ten chance for northeast arkansas and you do have some nasty precipitation passing by but if you look at your helicity which is your wind direction change with height you can see these storms do rip through kentucky once you get around 1 p.m and it starts doing more and more cells just ripping through kentucky long live cells even go a little bit towards west virginia then as you get into later tonight that big group of storms that goes towards ohio valley will rip a few long lived cells through southern missouri and when you go for about 3 p.m., you start getting a great chance for a supercell to form. That's where you're going to get a lot of chances for multiple tornadoes to come out, especially for Arkansas, all the way until 8 o'clock tonight. And then it moves up to southern Missouri. Still weakens down, but it is a chance for a supercell for tornadoes for southern Missouri as well. Now, as you go through your morning, when you look at the shear, you can see these cells do get some shear in them. But these over here is what you want to look for. This is a shear that's going to create some possible tornadoes today, especially for Arkansas, especially by noontime. You get some nasty little cells right there as it passes through. And this will go all evening along from Arkansas right into Kentucky with some nasty cells with a lot of shear on them. And it could spin up some tornadoes, guys. There's a good chance for another tornado outbreak 
for today all across Kentucky and for Arkansas. And of course, in a high resolution rapid refresh for the first 18 hours, the heaviest precipitation is going to be where these storms are going to train from Arkansas right across northern Kentucky all evening long. And you do have those chances for tornadoes. I can't stress that enough. Then you got this group of thunderstorms that's going to go across the Ohio Valley and bring some rain and some snow to y'all as well. Now, once you get to about 8 o'clock tonight, then your sunset's coming down, your cold temperatures are coming in, and you have the surface low moving towards the Ohio Valley, dropping snowfall, heavy snowfall, on the west side of the wraparound. And you see as it goes overnight, it goes across Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Wisconsin. It goes all night long into the early morning hours, all the way till 2 or 3 o'clock for Michigan. A lot of snowfall coming, especially across the upper Midwest. But you can see Ohio Valley, maybe northern Illinois will get some snowfall, but the rest of y'all are just going to get some rain. You might get a half an inch across northern Indiana as it passes by, but the bulk of it is going to be all the way from Iowa, all the way across northern Illinois, Wisconsin, and Michigan, and then going into Canada for tomorrow. And just until tomorrow, not only for northern Kentucky, but you also have it from Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, and Western Ohio, a chance for one to two inches of rainfall coming. That's why you got chances for flash flooding today and tomorrow. Just be aware these storms are going to train all afternoon. But once you hit 7, 8 o'clock, then the snowfall is going to start coming on the north side of this precipitation, especially across Wisconsin and Michigan. Y'all get some pretty heavy snowfall as it goes all night long, overnight into tomorrow. But the chances for 2 to 5 inches of snowfall Across Michigan, northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, eastern and central Iowa, northern Missouri, and a little bit for Kansas and Nebraska as well. Not much though. And for the northeast, you're really not going to get much, guys. It might be for Maine, a little bit of northern New York, upstate New York. That's about it. But the winds coming with this storm is all 50 miles per hour wind gusts, guys. And all this orange you see is all 50 miles per hour wind gusts coming with these storms as it goes across to the northeast and it is stronger out there in the northeast but it is across the atlantic ocean so that's 70 miles per hour wind gusts for them but it does pick up towards 60 towards the boston harbor and intercoastal uh, northeast western new york has the highest wind gust potential so just be aware that there's a lot of high wind gusts coming with these storms guys and i do pray that y'all heed the warnings for today for this tornado outbreak i pray that y'all heeded them yesterday because it was pretty crazy on what i saw when i came back and checked out the weather guys so please like the video if you enjoyed it if you want to share this information to another please help out it does do a lot guys share the video to social media if you enjoyed the forecast or if you want to help another but once again i do hope that you do listen because i do see a lot of lives at risk with these storms just like i saw yesterday and a tornado or two was ridiculous when it was obvious a tornado outbreak guys and you have a potential for one today so if you hear a tornado or two today, please be aware. That means an outbreak. <laughs> but God bless all of you. Hope you have a very blessed Sunday. Be safe through these storms. So please heed these warnings, guys. I've been here for years. For all of you, I would not steer you wrong. I want you all safe. I'm not just trying to get you to come to the channel or amuse you. I want you safe. That's the most important thing is to make sure you're safe. Please heed these warnings. Please, I can't stress this enough. Please be safe. For today. Psalm 101. I will sing of mercy and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath a high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Amen. God bless you all today.
<laughs> can't stress this enough. Please take heed to these warnings. Like the video if you want to share the warning. Share the video if you want to share the warning. And if you're not, just listen to the warning yourself. Even if it's just one or two of you, please listen. It's going to be severe weather today. Please be safe. And all power. All glory. <laughs> Does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. Our Father. And he'll keep you safe. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe.